the Outback trip I've been hoping for for a couple of years and it is absolutely freezing. It's kind of raining, windy as, cold as. I was hoping to go down to see the fish traps there, Aboriginal fish traps at Bawarana, but uh, as you can see, probably no point. It's a lot of water coming through, so give that a miss. Well, come to a little roadblock. Along the road from Perry Lakes to Louth, no, Tilpa, sorry. Struck this. Didn't see a road close sign. So, I don't know, maybe I missed it, but certainly didn't see it. But there's no way in heck I'm driving through that. That's, um, oh, uh, well, it's. About a foot deep, maybe. A little bit over a foot deep, but it'd be boggy. Bugger. Now I got a long backtrack all the way to White Cliffs and down to Wilkenya that way. Oh well. I'm not in a hurry. worth it. Um, man-made wall or barrier flood wall whatever you want to call it for quite a few k's and the curiosity got the better of me so I've driven over the other side of it and this is what I found this is absolutely stunning it's beautiful you see how much water's in the uh, the Darling River she's uh, up a fair bit which is good to see this would have made a cracking campsite. This is the uh, overflow of the Darling River into um, what they think of they call Weather Lake Weatherin. It's driving on top of the uh, I don't know whether it's a road or a levee bank, but um, she's up a fair way. This is all the uh, lakes around Meningi, all the Meningi lakes. As you can see, as far as your eye can see, they're full of water. Last time I was here, back in 2016, it was dry as a bone. So, quite a transformation. All right, John. Well, this is what we're driving into. Into um, 
Mount Ive Station. So this is going to get interesting. I've already seen some classic thunder strikes to the ground. So I reckon the next half hour or more is going to be very interesting. All right, we'll see what the outcome may be. Here are the organ pipes. Actually the wrong time of day to be honest, but it is what it is. Yeah, just the would have been good to get here during the middle of the day, but uh, not much can be done about that. Okay, this is the Talia Caves, which is just under that part there. This is absolutely awesome. Very nice. Go for a bit of a walk down the stairs and see what else is down there. There's a Talia cave, as you can see. Wild coast. Here's a closer look at the cave. This is called the tub. See the water through there. I don't know, on a king tide or whatever. Day 12 of our journey and uh, 
here we are camped at Jellabina Rock. Smack bang in the middle of South Australia, you could say, on the western side of the Googs Track. Beautiful country, very different to the Simpson. Can't believe the number of trees with low, low hanging branches that can wipe out your stuff on your roof rack. But um, yeah, very nice here. I think there's some better looking rocks further back. This one, I was expecting this one to be a little bit taller, but if you look at the distance over there, I think they are a bit better ones once you pass, a bit more a bit similar to the, I guess, Devil's Marbles in the NT. But um, yeah, a nice little place. This is our second night on the Googs track. First night was about eight k's in on this track, and it was one of the quietest nights. And to date, the coldest as well, minus one. So I'm not sure what we're going to get here. I suppose something similar, but um, looking forward to it. Now tomorrow we'll head out to Yellowbina Rock and then push back out onto the main Googs track. And, uh, oh, what is that over there? Interesting, I'll have to look. Um, yeah, back on the Googs track, heading north. And, uh, what is it, Mount Fink? So, we've got to meet up some friends in about five days' time, so, yeah. All right, enough for now. signs of a road that was here at all. It's just disappeared. The road's over there to the to the east further. That's the old case.
Colson track. As I said, it's been about 28 years since I've been along here, so it's all new again. Not a lot of trees and not a lot of flat area. So, for the night, the boys are actually camping on the road, on the track. I've managed just to get up on the side there, since I'm sleeping in the car, which is a hell of a lot easier. But the other boys sleeping on the track. Okay, here we are down at the Colson number one oil well. It's obviously abandoned. This is the dam, I suppose, Colson Dam, not sure. Drum in there. And 5k's north, we uh, turn and head east off track. So, and there it all starts. Sign, sorry, start pickets and all that sort of stuff here. It's just getting myself to come down here. The rest are waiting up at the uh, turn off point because they've obviously been here before. <laughs> Day two on the north, sorry, the east west shot line from the Colson over to the north shot line, which will head north and obviously then go to geographical center. So, this is we're 10k shorter there today. One hell of a day pounding along. Top speed or average speed, I should say, is 8k's an hour. So, you can imagine quite slow and painful. <laughs> over all the mongols but um this is where we are tonight and that's the track we come down i'm not sure whether you can see it but, uh, sort of been making our own track because the shot lines kind of disappeared over the years anyhow time for relaxing time dinner cheers okay after years of wanting to come here we finally made it the Geo Saddle of the Simpson. Now, we haven't come the easy way. We've come from the north south, northeast shot line off the Colson and up to here. So, fairly slow and rugged, bouncy. Very tough on the vehicles. A few nuts have worked their way loose on Richard's car, I believe. But, um, yeah, we all got here safe and sound. Thank the Lord for that.
the, the, um, the direction that uh, Joe had planned. So, I like guess as time goes on, we can just slowly tilt to the south a bit. We'll get back on there eventually. Joe send you the, the track log for this part or? I think it is uh, 24k's east of the north south shot line. Today we parted company with Joe, uh, yeah, Joe and Richard. They just kept on heading back south to the French line. They didn't want to do this section, which is fair enough. And then it's just Bob, oh, Kev, and myself. So it's done all the land, he's out number the Toyotas for a change. But uh, yeah, so we're 24k's east and 45 k's west of Beach Car and that's the direction we've got to head tomorrow but over there this would be interesting prayerfully everything will continue to run smoothly that'll be nice all right time for some relaxation time after getting flogged in, around in the cab today cheers Across this Gigi Valley of Gigi's, cracking place. Stay for camp, but unfortunately, it's the middle of the day for us, so it's lunchtime. Very nice. Don't think I'll ever return here, though. Been a hell of a task just to get here. Yeah, yeah, not bad. So this was a good little find, actually, wasn't it? A 
couple of old washing machines, 44s, an old battery over there, 10 poles. Very cool. Not far from Beach Camera. We're only about, I don't know, eight k's away from our final destination. Just went to the side to check these couple of waypoints out. As you can see some star packets over there, not sure what they're for. But uh, we'll press on. Well, we finally made it to Beach Carmel Well. After five days of cross-country driving. And it is fantastic to get here. Second title low range, excuse me. Not bad. That's the track where we came in. Like K's away from Camp 20. And just going through all the floodplains, I guess you could say. But it's just absolutely amazing to think how much water is required to fill all these floodplains. We were here back in 2019 and um, there was a, water, a lot of water lying around then, but uh, coming from a different direction now, it's giving you a better perspective. What we can establish, this tree here is Camp 20. Uh, unfortunately, can't find the picket. We'll have a bit of a look around later on and go for a bit of a drive while he's here. But yeah, a bit of water here. I was back here in 94 when I first came here, but. Um, where exactly? I have no idea, but I just know it's that cuttery water hole. Bit of a steep track there, no? Pretty cool. Alright, we'll go for a bit of a yonder. Down the water's edge. Well, here we are now at, uh, this is the Annandale water hole, which is obviously dry as a bone. It was full last time we were here. The road's been quite good, I must admit. A hell of a lot better than going down that QAA line. Eesh. But Kevin and I have stopped for lunch at the old Annandale Ruins. You can see them there in the distance. And uh, what is it? What time is it? Uh, oh, yeah. 12.40, so we're doing fairly good with time. We'll easily hopefully get down to Air Creek today, if not a little bit closer in. And uh, back to Birdsville. And 
the long journey home. Quite a few little detail, details. Hopefully. Might as well get some fuel up there as well. Yeah. Here we are. Launched about. This is where we crossed the flooded air creek two years ago. As you can see, it's uh, quite different now, but uh, this is definitely where we crossed. Actually, I think you might be able to see our time marks. I think we were the first ones to blaze this trail. I don't know how many other people used it after us. But um, there's the wheel marks. Well, there you go. There you go, that's where we crossed, bouncing through all that. He drives a bone now. is the go. The old landy made it our first go off the hard one. They even beat Kev. Happy with that. Right, this is a big red nose. Kirby. Same spot again, mate. Matey, I'd be dropping air pressures down even more. Dropping down the 10. No, you won't. It takes a lot more to knock them off than that. <coughs> yeah, see, it's all talk. You know, just... Well, if you want a hot bath, this is the place to be. Out of this is birds for water supply. Once it's cooled down, very cool. Well, here's Hunter's Gorge at the Diamantina Lakes. Nice little spot. But I don't think I'll be stopping here because um, I haven't booked a camp in sight, so I must push on. Hmm, the old pelicans there. Me camp for the night. The banks of a billabong. Doesn't get much better than this. I had a crayfish pot. Yeah, well, it's getting late. Probably only another half hour of sun. So I better get cracking with some dinner. Cheers. All right, 
left Quilby this morning around 6.30 and drove to Advale and came out to my final destination, which is Hellhole Gorge. This is probably more to the western point. I didn't bother videoing any of the actual gorge. But this is the other part, which is quite beautiful, actually. Love the gums. But uh, yeah, got here about quarter past nine after leaving Quilpy around. I think it was quarter six thirty, quarter seven. Anyhow, this is my final point of interest that I wanted to check before I drive that long journey home. And uh, yeah, quite nice. Um, if you want some lone time, <laughs> this is the place to be. He's quite nice, but yeah, I'm not the type of person to sit in one place for very long. There's the old Andy over there, but um, yeah, this will be the final little video and photos for our 2021 Boys Outback off track trip, desert trip. That's where we sort of went all the way down to, did the Googs track, Jalabina, Yalabina, rocks, and then up and then headed into the desert. Off track, we navigated to the geographical center of the desert and then from there across to Beach Coma. And then from there up and down the Madigan into Birdsville. Unfortunately, the timing was pretty poor because the big bash is on. Not ideal, but uh, every man, his dog's there with his flipping 200 series and car massive caravans. But uh, yeah, anyhow, I've left that all behind. This is my last port of call. The other fellas have separated, gone home. And um, once I get back to the car, hopefully I feel energized to make them pancakes. I'll be jumping in the car and making a long drive home. Yeah, not sure whether I'll get home tonight, but we'll just play it by here, see how I feel. I can actually stop any time and have a bit of a snooze in the back of the car anyhow, so that's good. But uh, yeah, this will be the final little bit of videos and camera work, photos and all that sort of stuff. Um, so really the end of the trip here and just a long journey home so it's a shame I couldn't bring the missus with me but uh, I know for sure she would have hated the, the desert part <laughs> very rocky slow torturous if you're a passenger having nothing to hang on to but uh, yeah all right well there's the lady just up there Call it quits now and uh, pull my finger out and make some pancakes if I feel energized to do so. Alright, cheers and thanks for that. Bye.